All right, YouTube, here we go. Um, just started doing the body mount bushings. Um, I just want to show you guys an easy way to replace those. I know they look really hard, but it's really simple. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to take this bolt out, which I already did. It's right there. Um, actually, the first thing you want to do, you need to soak these bolts with WD-40 or any kind of um, nut buster or whatever kind of spray you use. I soaked them for about three days because you don't want to start undoing that bolt because it's so rusty and the welds break inside here because then you're going to be in a world of hurt. So that's the first one, right? And then I'll show you the second one here underneath the car which is right here okay take both of those bolts out that one and and that one okay then you get your jack with uh, you know a little piece of wood put it underneath the body not the frame and then what you're gonna do just jack it up gently not all the way up, just enough to get the body off of the bushing. So maybe two inches. See that? And then just wiggle it out and jack it up a little bit more. Need to jack it out more. As much as you need to jack it up, okay? That should be enough. Take take the top washer off. Okay? And then it comes out. Really simple. Easy job. But make sure that you soak those bolts really good. Soak them really good. And don't forget how it goes. It goes like that. I've got my extra bushings down here. Okay. Just some stock bushings. I mean, if your car if your car is going to be outside in the driveway or something, you know, under the weather, I'd recommend the polyurethane. But since all my cars are garaged, uh, I just use regular old rubber. Stock rubber. <laughs> And that sits in there like that. And then the other piece goes on top of that. And then that bolt, this bushing, don't forget how it goes. And it goes right up there. Same with the other one. And that's it. Pretty simple job. Uh, there's two. There's this one, and then there's one over there on the other side, and then there's two on the bottom, and then you got these two, which you can do those with like a little pry bar or whatever. They're, those are real easy. But this was the uh, probably the easiest thing I've done, but it looked really hard, but it's done. So uh, next step is the subframe connectors, but I mounted them up, but I got to drill out. Um, one of the holes because it doesn't line up of course that's what happens when you put aftermarket stuff on your car you gotta modify some things but that's it for the subframe bushings pretty easy job not a big deal all right